a bright, sunny autumn day. This is central Poland. It's to the north of Łódź. And when you see the weather like this, you think, ah, it's great. Uh, these wonderful colors. Let's get out and do some walking. And of course, let's take the van out to do it. But if it's a bright, sunny day, no clouds clover, it also means it's going to be cold. So in that case, how about a van such as this one, which is designed for low temperatures? Affinity, it's part of the Cabe group from Sweden, noted for their insulation and uh, low temperature use. So, uh, it's not really that cold, of course. I mean, not, you know, I would think that these things are designed to go much colder than what we have here. Let's have a look at some of the features in the van. So it's got a side bed which moves up and down depending on how much stuff you've got in the back. We'll have a look at that in a short while. Come back to the wet room down here. So this is on the Fiat Ducato or the Peugeot Boxer. You've got a maximum of 205 centimeters external width. There's not a lot of space to play around with, that means. But let's have a look at how much space there's in here. There's me in the mirror and I've got all this space here. Where's the sink? There you go. There's the sink. And the toilet. Let's come out. Corner kitchen. Uh, so the, the kitchen itself is relatively standard. There are two burners there. Sink here. Fridge opens uh, two ways. One. Two. You've also got this convenient thing here to hang your tea towels on. We've got uh, space under the garage, but if we don't need it, we'll close this down there like that. Gives us a little bit more floor space, so to speak. We've got storage all around. Let's we'll open one because you can see they're all the same. So, fan here, but further back we've got two skylights. I like skylights, let plenty of light into the vehicle. Here we've got a, a wardrobe, obviously it's not going to be very deep, but you can get a couple of business suits in there, you know, the sort of thing you'd need when you're on, on your campsite. More storage above. Now, most uh, van conversions in this position have the kitchen. Here we've got this uh, side board. I think that's a fair enough word for it. And inside this we've got a little bit of storage as well. Not a huge amount, but there's a little bit there. Now, uh, up here, we've got the pièce de résistance. No, it's not the best pièce de résistance is at the back. But here, what we've got in these chairs here, I'll give you a little bit more room on that, I can see more. We've got this, which will convert into bunk beds. We've got the table, which goes up there. So when you want the table out, you put it out, but being up there, if you're sitting in the, in the rear, then you have got more space for your legs. So let's have a look here. There's the bed. There's the switch. You want to see the bed going up? There you go. Very quiet. Okay, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. Let's have a look up the front. It's 
So what do you think of that then? Okay, it doesn't give you much room under the, the storage, does it? They're all the same. If you really needed the space, you've got it. An extra thing we can do is to put that back like that. And I dare say you can easily get a, a bicycle in there now. Maybe even two. Other features. You're going to need something to cook with. There's the gas. So there's one 11 kilo gas canister. Um, as always, I suggest getting a refillable option. Such as... Uh, gas bank, name of the company, and there's the toilet here. So this is the toilet cassette comes out, and that's for the external shower. Let's make the bed now. This is a bed of the type you have never seen before in a camper van. This comes out. We've got to get this bit of the chair over here. We do this by unblocking here and then using the other hand, pull this bit up like that. And we can see this is all one big unit there goes onto the chair. Next thing, we've got to get this bit over here. So we do that, unblocking here and pulling this thing here out. As you can see, there's a bit here that's missing, but fortunately they thought on to put it under here. It's attached via a magnet, quite a strong one. Then this comes over like that and that will rest up there. Now, I have talked in other videos about nets being the in thing for 2021. And you're probably thinking, well, what if you fall out of bed? Well, there isn't a net, but there is one of these. And this goes up here, I know. Now, what about using something below? Well, we've got one of them. This comes out like this. It rests on there, like that, and then we push this down. Now, we've got a bunk bed in the front where no one else has got one. Let's see how much room there is. Right, so this is a demonstration of uh, me lying in bed because obviously I, I don't go to bed normally uh, fully dressed um, like this, nor for that matter do I do it during the day, so you'll understand why. Now, I'm 1 meter 75, I've got my feet here at the back, there's my feet, they're touching the thing at the back, so you can see how much room there is up here. So that's the, uh, that's the first thing. The second thing I'd like to point out is this, is that we've got, you're probably thinking, uh, what would happen if this thing here comes and hits you in the face uh, tonight? Well, there's a way of stopping that, which you can see that there's a special uh, support here, I suppose, it's on, on this chair, so that uh, should, uh, the, the point of that is 
to actually give uh, extra protection to stop this thing falling, not that it would necessarily fall on you anyway. So that's the uh, that point. Now, what about this for an idea? This is patented, no one else is using it. But this is a space saving idea is pretty good. And I think, uh, just thinking logically, how about if this sort of thing were in other camper vans and you get rid of the bed at the back and just have it here at the front? What do you think of that? Write your comments below.